Now, Frank Bartleman, he was, uh, uh, originally he was a journalist. He had been greatly inspired by the, the Welsh Revival and a book uh, written by uh, Mr. Shaw. And he basically started distributing these books as, as a faith ministry around the area to encourage people to uh, pray for revival. And he basically decided to give up his job as a journalist to become a full-time uh, missioner for the Lord. And... Um, him and William Seymour, as the months and years progressed, became great friends, and they would speak in each other's pulpits and, and everything. 1904, Evan Roberts was in the midst of this great revival in Wales, and yet, for some reason, he found the time to communicate with Frank Bartleman, because Frank Bartleman wrote to him when he heard about the Welsh Revival. You can almost imagine him writing a letter there in, in America and just saying, you know, I, I'm a Christian in America, I want revival to come, can you give me some guidelines? Because Frank Bartleman wrote to Evan Roberts in Wales three times and received four responses. I mean, we're, we're back now to saying what we've said in previous programmes, which is the link with previous revivals is so interesting. Certainly when we come to Azusa Street, you have to say, God, what were you doing? Because there were so many strange things that were going on. That's right. It's interesting how, you know, it ushered in the old truth of the baptism of the Holy Spirit and fire. And many people went there and received the, the gifts of tongues as the Holy Spirit was poured out upon them. And initially at the beginning, that was like a center of attraction because, you know, what is happening here? But that has its genesis back in 1900 at Topeka Bible School under Charles Parnham, where an 18 year old uh, woman basically prayed and asked for the Holy Spirit. And she asked Mr. Parnham, please lay his hands on me. And so this is uh, New Year's Eve, 1900. And the Holy Spirit came and she started uh, speaking in tongues. It's as if God then broke in at the turn of the century. In 1911, for a fear of pride, Frank Bartleman burnt about 600 letters which he himself had received from around the globe. And he, he really later regretted it because he said, you know, these letters were evidence of how far and how many people were touched all across the globe just shows the importance of how we never know the links that God is doing in chains and, and the part that we're going to play.